<laughs> oh, when you're down and looking for some cheering up, then just head. What is up, YouTube fam? Robbie C. here for day seven of Vlogmas. Isn't there just something magical about stone bridges? We grew up reading story after story of adventurers crossing these bridges on their way towards something spectacular. And that is what we tried to bring for you today. One of my favorite videos I've ever filmed on the channel was a unicorn round. I thought for Vlogmas, why not bring the Robbie corn back and try it once again, but let's step it up. And so that's what we did is we stepped up and made it more difficult by only being able to throw the Innova Monster. It's an incredibly overstable disc, and so when I'm trying to throw something that overstable while also in a unicorn costume, I don't know, only chaos can be caused. Let's see how it goes, and let's head over to George Ward for our unicorn round. Ladies and gentlemen, coming at you with that live magical commentary. The monster is super overstable, so we're going to be trying a lot of flex forehands, and early on I was struggling to figure out just how stable it was. Honestly, this feels like a tilt before a tilt was born. Now, if you've watched the channel before, you know that I don't suggest throwing the Anheuser Flex forehand incredibly often, but when you're throwing something this overstable, it's going to be your best friend, especially when you lack mobility because you happen to find yourself in a unicorn costume, if you ever find yourself in that scenario. Putting is definitely the trickiest part of that because that window you can see just under the beautiful unicorn's mouth is the only way that I can see, and when you do your normal putting motion, it causes you to look down. Not really happy with the bogey, but not too upset by it either. Heading into hole two, I decided, why not get crazy, embrace the magic, and let's try a backhand, see how this goes. Tried to put it on some crazy Anheuser, and sure enough, it just turfed straight into the ground. Here, we're trying to throw left of that big tree, and we failed miserably, but thank you, trees us. Hey, what happened? For coming in clutch and keeping us from going super far down the hill. All we got is this nice, smooth, casual putt, and bada boom, bada bing, we're grabbing our first par of the day. We're about 30 feet away, so I'm not going to call the footfall. If you're not going to call the footfall, especially get the unicorn a break, you know? We hit that putt. We're taking another bogey, hugging that basket because thankfully it's just a bogey. I felt really good on the backhand and know that I can correct it, so I'm going for another one here instead of the forehand, especially because the hole goes to the left. I actually feel like I get a hold of this one and rip it pretty far down the hill. And yeah, we're looking at the basket about pin high, just, you know, 120 feet off to the right. Green disc into green trees, what a time. But yeah, here we're about 18 feet away from the basket. All we gotta do is sink an 18 footer, we get a par. I'm trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. We got down here, but my head had different, uh, different goals. <laughs> Yeah, we end up yanking this thing to the right, and now we have about the same putt coming right back at it, and so we're gonna try to correct. And try we shall, succeed we shall not. We had our best look at a par, and guys, even if you're in a unicorn costume, it still always comes down to putting. Going from an 18 foot look to a double bogey burns about as much as Voldemort drinking my fellow unicorn brother's blood for eternal life. In fact, I, forgot about the backhand and just decided I know the hole goes left but why not try to throw a forehand I was on super mega tilt and now I'm like super far away from the basket so we have to throw two forehands in a row just trying to get down there and we felt yeah no we didn't feel really great about either of them uh, so we now have a long look about 50 feet for this par save and yeah, it's you can't really put a lot of power on a putt when you're in a unicorn costume. So we did a nice glorious layup. We're going to take another bogey, which I guess is not shabby since we started by going the opposite direction of the basket. 
Oh, hey, was busy looking for my sanity amidst this unicorn realm. But I wanna take a moment to talk about today's video sponsor, Dying to Fly Discs. Dying to Fly does some amazing work on some discs, and I often question, how is it even possible for someone to make a disc look that good? So if you have discs that you absolutely love and you like them to look amazing, and we all know amazing looking discs fly better, head over to Dying to Fly Discs and get some custom work done. You can find all of his links in the description below. The flame is simple. Don't get this deflated by the tree and throw this as freaking hard as you can and don't let it slip out. Well, you heard the pink guy. The plan is to tighten up the grip. I noticed that the disc was slipping out a little bit. Also, Pete, the guy on the left in the hoodie, uh, he is definitely wondering what is going on. Is this what this sport is all about? Are there longer holes out there in the world? Yes. Does it feel like there are not longer holes out there when you're in a unicorn costume? Also, yes. We felt really solid about that throw. It got pretty far down the fairway. We're about 120 feet away. But here I chose to have the memory of a goldfish and forgot the monster is crazy overstable. Yeah, you're gonna have to aim left and let it fade into the basket instead of throwing it, I don't know, right at the basket. Run it. Now here you have to ask yourself, what's the wise thing to do, Robbie? Lay it up? No, we're running it. Running it right over the basket. If I had to say how far this putt was, I'd say 12 feet maybe, looking through the window. And disappointment is the only thing we see through it. Have I mentioned that putting is like super important? We had our best drives on hole three and five so far, and they've both resulted in double bogeys. It would be easy to find yourself in a saddened state after double bogeying with another great drive, you know? But I'm in a unicorn costume, so I'm like, there's no time for sadness, only time to just let it rip. So that's exactly what we go for. We throw it down the fairway, and honestly, pretty stoked about that drive, even if I wasn't in a unicorn costume. It's muttering one word over and over and over to myself, and that word is par. Just lay it up next to the basket, take your par. And of course, it rolls away from the basket. Thankfully not too far away, and thankfully not into the OB. Please, just let me hit this putt. Taking one from my magical friend Tinkerbell, I do believe in fairies. Let's go. To say that we are re-energized would be an understatement. Stepping into this, feeling like I am on top of the world. I could ride a rainbow all the way to the basket. And of course, we smash the drive because we're feeling good. A happy unicorn is a silly unicorn, and a silly unicorn is ready to throw some accurate shots. Yet once again, we realize the monster, it's overstable. So why not throw it straight at the basket? And then let it fade off away from the basket, leaving ourselves a long putt for the par. So momentum is great because it can help you stay loose, but when you get momentum and you're focusing on good things happening, you can often forget to focus on the right things. And so I definitely didn't hold on to that drive very tightly. It slips out of my hand and we have to make a solid comebacker, but we do learn our lesson. We aim left of the basket and what do you know? We are right next to it for our third par putt in a row. What even is going on? Flabbergasted is an understatement for this unicorn, and a flex forehand used to be my play on this hole, so it actually felt natural, and for the first time all round, I actually get on top of it too much with a forehand, which made me nervous here because there's OB to the left. So we switched to the backhand, and we're trying to just go between those two trees because that's where the basket sits. Bada boom, bada bing, we execute, we're feeling good. It looks like we're starting to figure out this unicorn thing and find some success out here. Too bad it's when the round is over. R.I.P. us.
All right, y'all. That was magical. I don't know is the right word to describe it, but it was definitely an experience. Hope you guys enjoyed watching some horrendous disc golf with some horrendous putting, but I guess we turned it on in the back, or the back half of it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week, but for now, I'm going to leave you with the birdie.